everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a wonderful summer and you spent some great holiday. I've been traveling a lot on the English seaside and I have to say that I did enjoy it so much. I've been taking so many pictures with textures and things I really love to see. And then I've been reading a lot. And when I've been reading, I kind of needed a little notepad when I can take some notes from books I read it. And I was thinking that maybe that can be what I will create in my next video. Hello. Uh, I've been spending some time on seaside and when I came back, this top shelf fell on me. <laughs> so I'm cleaning my room. I'm trying to decide what I will give away somewhere, probably to charity shops. I need to make space because I do have so much stuff. Unfortunately, most of my stuffs are scraps or things which are supposed to be in the bin, like old boxes. And that's what I would like to use. And if I will don't use it, it will go to the bin. And I'm going to create it from this old uh, uh, oatmeal box. And I'm going to use it for creating my bookmark notepad. For the pages, I'm going to be using papers from this little notepad I do have here in my stuff. The measurement of this notepad, it's three inches by eight and one quarter. I'm going to take only a few pages out of it about 10 pages and click them, uh, staple them together. I believe this amount of pages will be great to have with me in any book I will read and if I will want to make some notes, this will be good. Now I can cut this box in the size I need. I'm gonna cut this side and I'm gonna be using just a ruler and cutting knife and following the original folds of these, this box I'm gonna just cut the side first I'm gonna keep these off cuts for now maybe I will use them if I will don't use them they will end up in the bin now I'm gonna create a mark my notepad it's three inches in the width i'm gonna mark here three and one eighth of inch slightly bigger than is my notepad three and one three and one and here is the size i have of that bottom chipboard and it's longer on both sides now I can cover this printed side with some decorative papers or book pages or tea dyed paper anything I will want or maybe some fabric anything I will want I'm gonna be using uh, book pages because another thing I do have in my craft room in a huge amount are book pages. I'm gonna be using book pages and cover all this printed side. I have my piece fully covered with the book page. I'm gonna grab my notepad and I'm gonna start to score it. I think here I can take my ruler and just make a marks. I would like to have on the bottom a small part where I will put eyelet and maybe magnets to close uh, the bookmark together with this notepad inside. I'm gonna keep there one and one quarter of inch. which is 3.2 centimeters. 
or three centimeters will be good enough now from here I'm gonna count the notepad notepad will be ending here the thickness of my notepad it's really small it's one eighth of inch it will fit in one eighth of inch And here on that opposite side, I'm going to copy the measurement from here. So I'm going to just take these measurements, eight and half. Here I made it eight and half. No, eight and three, three eighths. Eight and three eighths and one and one and one quarter one and one quarter i'm gonna cut this long piece on my last mark where i marked this one and one quarter which i do have here as well so i'm gonna cut the piece here like this and now on these marks which I do have here I'm gonna use my ruler and scoring board uh, uh, scoring tool this ball pen and I'm gonna help myself a little bit you know to fold the chipboard at these points just to press it with my uh, scoring tool and I have to be careful. I think the glue, it's not totally dry yet. And I don't want to ruin it. So I need to be careful. And I'm going to fold the chipboard in these score lines. And I do have this folded with the gap here in the fold. And with these two flaps on the bottom. I can fit my notepad inside and it's ending exactly before these flaps. For embossing I'm gonna be using this beautiful Tim Holtz uh, embossing folder. It is Sizzix. Bear with me. 3D texture fades and this is called... Ah, yeah of course. <laughs> Acorns. <laughs> so this beautiful embossing folder I'm gonna use also my inks. I'm gonna be using Smoked Emerald from Spectrum Noir Harmony Line. And I'm gonna add this Smoked Emerald to this side of the embossing folder. Now I'm going to take my chipboard piece. This will be front of my notepad. And here it's the fold. It's the middle fold. So I'm going to fold that middle fold this way. I'm going to place my little notepad cover facing with the front of my cover down on this colored side of embossing folder. And I'm going to try to emboss it. It's quite a few layers. And I hope it will go well through to my embossing machine because it's quite thick. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's really beautiful. I do have embossed both sides, but I don't mind that much. This one, I'm gonna unfold it. Clean my embossing folder. And I have folded this gap again. Now I'm going to take a brayer and try to flat this embossed part down. Uh, if that will don't work, but I think it will. It will be okay. So I'm going to flat this side, which I don't need to have embossed. 
I do have most of that embossed effect uh, gone from the back cover. Uh, for the next part, I have prepared here very strong coffee and I'm going to be using brush. And I'm going to add a little bit of that coffee here and there, just to color my little pieces. Spectrum Noir inks are reacting with water really well, so it's possible that part of that ink uh, will melt into uh, the coffee, but I'm totally okay with that. It's kind of what I would like to see. <laughs> and I'm gonna let this dry. And after drying, you can see the melting greenery ink between that coffee. I really like that effect. I do have here this leftover, and that's what I'm gonna be using to make another layer on my cover. I'm gonna be using both these sides so I'm gonna cut this and this I'm gonna tell you measurement of the base and of this so here it's eight and one quarter till the fold eight and three eighths pardon me eight and three eighths till the fold plus one and a half here that rest this top part is seven and seven eighths so it's shorter and this is three and one eighth and this is three inches same it's that back side both of these pieces i'm gonna wrap or cover from this side with this beautiful uh, this is a roll of watercolor paper and I'm gonna use it as a cover cover on my two pieces I'm gonna do a little stamping I'm gonna be using this beautiful woodware uh, stamp it's called snippet script I have this stamp in my collection for the last three years and I never used that so I'm thinking <laughs> Now is the time. Uh, I'm using Ranger Archival Ink Jet Black because it's nice and stable. And just little stamping. And here again, I'm going to be using. The coffee and I'm gonna cover all these pieces with the coffee then let it dry this coffee will add beautiful vintage feel and look to my pieces Now I can let it dry. I have added also a few splatters with very strong coffee and let it dry. Now I can uh, cut the window. I'm not going to be cutting window in both pieces. One piece which will go on the back side, that will be probably this one, will go on the back side. I'm going to keep as it is. I'm just going to add a sewing all around with my using my sewing machine to add there a little bit more decoration. And this part, which will go here on the front, I'm going to cut the window. I'm going to cut the window in the part which will uh, go over this embossed image. For that, I'm going to take a ruler and pencil and draw gonna just measure how far I should go 16 centimeters I'm gonna make a mark here so I can go behind this line with my frame and I think I'm gonna make a frame one and a half centimeter inside of this space 
I draw the frame here uh, in this space all sides of my frame uh, are one and a half centimeter and now I'm going to cut that inside rectangle I have cut that window and it will be like this okay before I will distress all edges on all these pieces I would like to create or decorate the inside and also create magnetic closure and add here eyelet for hanging maybe tassel or some decoration I'm gonna get up my magnets I'm gonna be using these small magnets uh, they are <laughs> they are very strong as you can see really very strong nice strong magnets uh, one millimeter in the thickness by five millimeters in the oh mine it's R when I write it down and, and I don't remember the English word for that but they are five millimeters here nice and strong magnet For editing these magnets on my chipboard piece, I'm going to be using double-sided tape. I'm going to add double-sided tape here. This will be back cover of my mini notepad or bookmark notepad. I'm going to add double-sided tape about one quarter of inch from the fold. later one magnet another magnet I'm gonna take medical tape now this is paper medical tape very thin but with strong holding I'm gonna place it on this magnet and grab that other one and let it <laughs> fall down <laughs> like this and the sticky side of my tape is here I'm gonna do same with that next magnet I'm gonna grab my medical tape sticky side is here on the top place it over that magnet and let down the second magnet it's automatically twist the magnet the way it should be now I can fold down the front of my little bookmark and press on the pieces on the spots where I do have the other magnets and catch that medical tape So that medical tape hold it these two magnets and I do have them exactly on the right spots oh. okay. <laughs> now I can put some decorative paper here inside I have placed decorative paper all inside in my cover. Now I can take my distress ink. I'm going to be using uh, Spectrum Noir Harmony Line uh, distress ink and this is called uh, Seal Brown. So that's what I'm going to be using uh, and I'm going to uh, distress all edges outside on both sides of this cover and also inside in that frame the other there a little bit of shades and kind of like vintage feeling so with my distress tool first I'm gonna go all around of these edges
and also inside in that frame And then with circle, circle motion, I'm gonna make shades on the edges and also from inside around that frame. I have my distressing done on both sides here on that cover. And here I do have same uh, paper I used for covering the inside of my notepad or bookmark. It's nice and strong paper. I think it's 200 GSM. It's from this tropical state of mind. It's 250. 250 GSM beautiful cardstock which I used inside of this uh, of this notepad. I do have here same cardstock. I'm gonna uh, grab my sewing machine and here where it's that middle fold. I'm gonna sew the piece of this cardstock uh, into that fold. I think I don't need that big piece. I'm gonna grab a pen, this one, and to try to roll it in. How much I need. Not a big piece, I think somewhere here. For wrapping my pen, I need piece. I'm gonna cut two inches. It's even bigger than where I made a mark. So two inches by three and one eighth. It's same with like it's my cover for my bookmark. And with my sewing machine first, I'm gonna distress it, of course. Nearly forgot. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here. Place there my cardstock, and I'm gonna place that cardstock uh, the way where I will have part of that cardstock on the back cover as well. It will be not exactly on that, it will kind of overlap the fold. And I'm matching these sides. I'm gonna let it dry and then sew through. Here I can see where is my fold, that middle fold. So in that spot, I'm gonna sew through with my sewing machine, or I can do it, you know, by hand sewing. Just uh, put three holes and simple sewing. That maybe will be even better. I don't have to pull out my <laughs> sewing machine. So I'm gonna do it with hand stitching. Easy hand stitching, not sewing machine. I'm gonna fold up front cover. I can see where it's the back cover fold. I'm gonna just poke three holes. And same way like we are sewing signatures into book covers, I'm gonna sew this piece of cardstock. To make sure it will hold. Ta 
side and make a knot. Now I can get up back and I just made mistake. I wanted to make sewing all around. Well, I'm not gonna make sewing all around <laughs> of my uh, camera. I'm gonna keep it this, <laughs> this way. I wanted to make also sewing all around on my sewing machine. So I'm gonna bring my sewing machine, but for those additional pieces. I'm gonna start to roll around my pen I'm gonna add the glue here and fold this together and I'm gonna secure it here with the paper clip and let it dry I think that holder looks like it's dry. It's holding, hopefully. So I can continue. I'm gonna be using this foam uh, square pads to glue this panel on the front and this panel on the back cover. I also added with my sewing machine a little sewing on this front panel to add there a little bit more decoration. I'm gonna take off backing paper from these square pads and now attach the panel to the front cover. Press, press, press. Same I'm gonna do with that back side panel. For gluing down this backside panel, I'm gonna actually use these offcuts. They are in good size. They will cover most of my little piece here, so I can totally use them. I'm gonna glue these two together. I do have my front uh, decorative panel and back decorative panel glued down. Also, I made a mark where is the middle of this small flap here, where I do have my magnets. I'm gonna add their eyelet. So first I'm gonna punch the hole then fix the eyelet. I do have here that eyelet. And I can hang there maybe tassel or maybe some charm. And the last thing I need to add the, the writing pad, right? <laughs> to, <laughs> to have there something, uh, some writing papers. As I said, I do have here stamped, stapled together 10 pages from that little notepad. I'm not gonna add there too much glue because this can be changeable. I'm gonna add the glue just on one line here on the top and place it in this cover. Oh my! Spider. Oh, shoot. Hello. Oh my. Dear God. <laughs> Have you seen him? <laughs> he just came to say hi from the ceiling. I can't believe. Okay, I'm gonna fin finish this video very fast. <laughs> very fast and I'm gonna call my son to deal with him. <laughs> Don't wanna get him down again. So, we're gonna glue it inside. He's going down again. Okay, guys, he's gonna <laughs> you know, glue it inside. Then you can, you know, close it together. Uh, 
And here is finished uh, finished bookmark notepad. I had to cut a little bit this front uh, cover. It's kind of better to open it when you do have that front cover sh shortly, shorter, not shortly, shortly, shorter. So it's better to open it. And also this helps so much. So this is how it looks like. I do have fixed pen here in these strings, which are from here. Uh, if you will make this book and you want to attach their pencil, leave these strings at least in the leg of your notepad. It will be much, much better to fix it in and you will have pretty much very uh, good space or good leg to write with your pencil. So you can see here I left it really long so I can write without any issue with this pencil. And I made few other designs as well. I just couldn't switch on my camera because I was scared. Yeah. <laughs> and my son uh, took the small Peppa, Peppa spider out and he's back actually. He came back or if is it another one, I'm not sure. So I made this one inspired by that spider. I do have that, that uh, school embossing folder from Tim Holtz. I'm not sure if my camera is taking it right away, but it's really cool uh, embossing folder. It does make, you know, these schools and it does have just lace in the back and same opening, a little dangle here with little notepad and it looks really amazing in book. And if I will want to make, you know, some notes, I will have my little notebook notebook bookmark with me so this is my sharing for today i hope you did enjoy it i hope you found some inspiration and you will try to declut uh, if you are like me and you saved so many boxes and book pages and you don't know what to do with them right now and you need to uh, clean your area from uh, all these things maybe this will help you to create something what you can use ah here i forgot to put my writing notepad look at that but i add that <laughs> i add that, that tassel <laughs> and this one so that's all thank you so much for stopping by today and spending your time with me i wish you a beautiful day Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.